Greetings, everybody. So the topic of today's video is uh, the image bit planes. So we are going to explain what are the bit planes of the image. You may have seen them mentioned in some uh, papers on cause based encryption. So uh, first of all, uh, let's explain the basics. What is an image? Right. Image practically can be represented in any computer language uh, as a matrix. Okay, let's say we have an image of size n by m. This basically means that uh, this image is a matrix of integer values n by m in dimension, and each pixel in the image is represented by an integer value in the interval 0 to 255, okay, for grayscale images. And of course, each of these values uh, represents the grayscale of this specific pixel. Okay, I have some examples right here. So black corresponds to completely black. 255, which is the highest value, corresponds to completely white. So there are 256 different values. And of course, all the uh, in-between values represent different shades. Okay, so 85, for example, is uh, somewhat uh, dark gray, while 170 is, for example, a lighter gray. So this very simple example here is a two by two image, okay? A matrix of integer values. So we need to think about uh, these integers, okay? Zero to 255, okay? Obviously this is a byte, right? And all bytes, all integers in this interval, zero to 255, can be represented in a binary representation using eight bits, okay? You don't need any less. So any pixel right here, if I represent it to a binary format, okay, MATLAB can easily do that. There are commands like uh, dead to bin or uh, uh, there is a more common command, I think, uh, int to bin, something like that. Okay, you can easily find the command. You will get this representation that uses uh, actually eight different coefficients and each coefficient represents uh, the factor for 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2, up to 2 to the 7th, okay? So we need 8 bits to represent uh, an integer or, if you like, a grayscale value, okay? For example, if the value of 131 is 1 times 2 to the 0, plus 1 times uh, 2 to the 1, plus 1 times 2 to the 7th, okay? And all the other coefficients are 0, okay? 1 plus 2 plus 128. So any sort of image that we have, so any sort of matrix of integers, can easily be translated uh, into binary representation by taking each different integer and transforming it into its binary format. Okay, so zero here becomes uh, eight different zeros, uh, 255 becomes eight different ones, 85 becomes this number, 170 becomes this number. Okay, and from this transformation, we can go on and define the bit planes of the image. How do we do so? It is very easy, actually. Okay, let's say we have a very big image like the peppers that we see right here. Okay, and we take each pixel and transform it into its binary representation. Okay, so if you think about it, this M times N image in integer format becomes a sort of a cube that is N by M by eight. Okay, because for each pixel now we have eight bits. So what do we do? I have colored it here as an example. Let's think about this two by two small image right here. Okay, after I perform this binary representation, I take each of the first bits. Okay, so all or for all pixels, I take the first bit uh, from each value and I put it in a matrix. Okay, this uh, matrix again can be represented as an image, but of course it only has zeros and ones. So it's a binary image. Okay, it's only black and only white. This is the first bit plane, okay? Then we do the same thing by taking all the second pixels, I'm sorry, all the second bits from all the pixels, okay? And arrange them in a different matrix. This again is a binary matrix, so a binary image. So this is the second level of the image or the second plane, if you like. Then we do the same thing with all the third bits, all the fourth bits, sixth, seventh, and finally all the, all the eighth bits uh, of each pixel, okay? Uh, so we end up with eight different matrices. All of these are binary matrices. They only have zeros and ones. And each of these matrix can be represented as a black and white image. And it corresponds to a bit plane. Okay. So simple as that. Okay. But there is a very nice catch here. Uh, 
how do these planes or these images look like? And let's see an example. They look like that. Okay, I have the eight different levels. And uh, this looks very interesting, right? Uh, I'm using the peppers image right here. Why this is this very interesting? Because as you will see, not all of these levels, uh, you know, include the same amount of information. This is very, very important. Because if you think about it, let's go back uh, to our very simple example. Okay, 131. Uh, as you see, most of these coefficients are zero, and we have one and one and one co three coefficients uh, that are one. But if you think about it, if you break down this uh, summation, we have one plus two plus 128. And these three terms correspond and contribute to the value of 131. So you have the contribution of three different terms, right? The others are zero. But, but as you can understand, these terms are not of equal value. 128 is a very high number, so it contributes a lot. This is because this corresponds to the final uh, level, to the final bit level. So as you can understand, if this level has a coefficient of one, so you have a value of 128, this is a very high number. It contributes a lot to the final value of the pixel. And this is why higher levels actually end up representing more information, okay? Because they represent like the very big changes in the image, like very intense values or very non-intense values. So, you know, eighth, seventh, sixth, and fifth level actually play the most part in, you know, structuring the elements of the image. For example, the different papers here. Okay, and this is why almost 90% of the information included in the image appears in the in the last four levels, right? The fourth level as well here, I mean, it kind of has some information, right? Still, you can make up some uh, edges and some shapes, but first, second, and third level actually have, they look like noise, right? Really, so, you know, they don't really represent some information. For example, if you want to do image compression, a very easy way to compress an image is to simply take the last three bits, uh, I'm sorry, bit planes, and completely discard them, right? The image will still look pretty close to the original one. And I have an example here. This is the original Peppers image, and uh, these are the two uh, different representations that I have. These are reconstructions that I made by discarding some of the bit planes. So here, for example, I only kept the fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth bit planes. So the last four bit planes. And if you compare these two images, you will see that pretty much to the naked eye, they look almost identical, right? Uh, there is very, very low compression in some surfaces right here. Okay. Uh, if I discard one more level, of course, the compression becomes more clear. And you will see that uh, this is a bit more pixelated, but still very accurate representation of what we have the image in the image, some peppers, right? So this is a very easy way, for example, to do compression. And let's see one more example. I have the image of an airplane. And again, you will observe the same result. The last four levels are the more the most intense ones and pretty much represent the most important information. Okay. The last couple are pretty noisy, and the ones in between, like they kind of have some uh, edges, edges clear, but uh, nonetheless, they can be discarded. And you will see again here, I have three reconstructions. I'm sorry, two reconstructions. The original image, using the last four levels, you will see in the clouds right here, there is some compression, but overall very accurate representation. And of course, and if I come, you know, if I discard one more bit level and use only uh, the last three bit levels or the bit planes, if you like, uh, to reconstruct the image, again, it is very accurate, but you see some pixelation around the clouds and the airplane, right? So these are the bit planes of the image, okay? Some papers call them bit planes. Some other papers, you may see them as bit levels, but I think it is more common uh, to use the term uh, bit planes, okay? So in the description of the video, I have also included the MATLAB code in order to easily extract each bit level and uh, plot it uh, as a figure, okay? So thank you very much, and I'll see you in our next video.